Okie dokie. So, round two. I've missed the first video, now hopefully we'll have audio. So, let's review this ugly thing. Somebody brought to my attention that somebody else released a three hour review on this tank. Cool. I mean, if you want to spend three hours watching somebody play a tank, that's on you. Personally, three hours, waste of time. But that's just how I feel. So, let's get into the statistics. General consensus for me, you're basically paying for an object 140. T62 actually wouldn't be also a terrible comparison. So, 204, uh, 245 turret, pretty good. Hull, 120, pretty decent for a medium. And it's got a really low fire chance view range with some stuff to be. Oh, wanted concealment. Ooh. Not bad. 54. Uh, I run the DPM build, so the DPM just falls short behind the Leo. I mean, it's good DPM, I just hit the Alpha, which is 320. It's the only 105 of 320 Alpha. Big dumb. Aim time's a little bit more sluggish. But the dispersion is good, I built for dispersion. Rather than aim time. Let's see. 60 forward, 20 back. Power to weight 20, so fairly decent engine. Really fast hull turn rate. Your turret is a bit on the slugger side for a medium deck, but you'll never get ring around the rosy. That basically covers everything's got 8 degrees of gun depression, I believe 20 elevation. It's either 20 or 17, either way, it does not matter. You will not be looking for more elevation. It's, it's an ugly th tank, it's symmetrical too, so if you like your stuff to look nice, do not recommend this thing. Um, you got the pike nose turret so you can peek like this exactly, but you have to be careful, it does have a lower plate weakness as all pike noses, and it's a really tall tank too, not as tall as the Leo. I think their hulls are almost just a little bit different. Okay, Leo is just a cut hair tower. But uh, that awkward gun depression in the height of your vehicle will make it awkward side hugging Soviet heavy. So I would not recommend that either. And Actually, I have a very good example of that. So, let's get into the battles. Okay. Yukon. I will say that all these battles are rating battles. I didn't feel bothered enough to play regular battles and I started poorly trying to figure out the tech, you know, go super aggressive, try to figure out the weaknesses right away, and then every battle just increasingly got better. And I aced this thing in five battles, so could be worse. I think I had nothing, third, second, first, and then the mastery, so. 
I can't do the math. So, this thing, it's, honestly, it's like a 140. It's kind of what the 140 should be. Versus what it is pathetic. Uh, I don't know why I try to spot, but you kind of have to use bushes and shit because this thing just doesn't have a very good view range. Kind of Soviet view range. And obviously that guy was all alone, so I'm going to press the advantage. And there's three guys back there, and they all decided to run, which is funky. Target selection, make sure I can actually hit something. Very good. Type 71 OP side armor. That thing should get nerfed. Especially the lower plate and the side armor. Everything else could stay the same. Maybe a little bit of a cupola nerf too. Now that's twice I hit the gun aside for zero. Which is very nice. And now since I'm at the back, it's time to move. I think about going after Senor 60 TP, but I thought the hurry would actually cover him. So I'm like, screw that noise. But the hurry actually looks this way, which is interesting. Bounces off because my angling, Pike knows. Interestingly enough, he's still paying attention this way, but I say screw that. I go after there. I don't know how that shot missed. I don't think my tank could even shoot that high of how I aimed. And he's dead. I probably could have blocked E3 from getting another shot off, but... Meh. Oh, laggy. Computer does not want to handle this shit right now. It's not, not a very impressive game. Some decent amount of assistance. And I broke 5k. Yay. Let's go to the next one. Okie doke. I believe this is my sixth game that I played in it. I generally can tell how to play a tank in a couple of battles, provided they're not gimmicky. Like this is pretty standard medium. You play it like a standard medium, and you'll be doing perfectly fine. Easy 60% if you can actually play a normal medium fairly well. So far despair this is an awful map. And I actually go against what I usually do. I really don't like to do this. But I go to this position. I still don't know why, I just felt like I could go to it. I'm gonna shoot the KPF. Who well, I know is gonna be looking this way. And the 3 gets a fairly lucky shot off on me. Uh, he was honestly firing that blind, he did not spot me. I'm just sitting here trying to wait because there's no reason for to do anything stupid until uh, the battle is developed enough people are committed on their flanks and the vickers get spotted so try to avoid the KPF I don't think he even had the shot on me 
that made me an easier target for the Vickers, but better safe than sorry, I guess. Kind of wait for my buddy. Give us the M60. Try to shoot the Vickers, put them out of my misery, and I mess up here. I should have stopped. And now I should have just driven forward. But it seemed like my gun was a little bit slow. So I just gotta press the advantage. 1700 damage is not really good to be sitting on. I'm two minutes in, but. Oh well. Let the VK take the hit because I don't have that much HP left and I am one shotable. So now I just keep pushing, try to beat his tra traverse. HE will not damage anything. Well, that's good to know. 215B, but it's not that uh, impressive. That guy was just waiting for me out of all people. Should have popped my adrenaline here. Probably would have all loaded the uh, SU-54. But I didn't, so... Oh, well. Probably would have been a master if I stole that. But first class, and this one will actually go into the fancy. It's 13, who cares about this stuff? Low damage assistance. So remove that, I believe 1200, roundabouts like 1250 is what you're looking for mastery bar and we're going to the final one okay final one and I will have this video uploaded and hopefully I don't screw up the audio again uh, I did change my settings so there shouldn't be ear rape scratching because apparently Speaking at a normal volume overloads my microphone, so that's great. It's like I'm working with 1970s Soviet technology. Well, maybe it's just the Chinese crap I bought. What is this? Vineyards. So yeah, this is one of the this, uh, tank's really strong weaknesses. It's the inability to spot. Not that this position is very good either. I'm not paying attention right now. I'm, the 30 B is going to pop up. And he actually shoots him in my side, which is surprising. If I were him, I'd probably aim for the lower plate. I wait, blind fire. Probably waited too long. And I believe that will actually pull up a Hume, or whatever it's called. Uh, either way, they need to work on a shell explosion. That one was very lovely. That should have been a kill.
Now well, the badger thinks he can be annoying. So I'm just waiting to take, uh, catch him out of position. And the candlestick known as the MX-30B shows up. So double fire, rip. No, I'm just still farming damage. No hurry to do anything. I don't need a push. And the seven five two is an idiot. It's not wrong about K seventy one. I didn't even know we had one until now. It's just a crybaby. I could have shot the Fosh from the other side, but I did. But I didn't stop. Lovely shot there. And I pop my drone on late as usual. And this is why APCR is the best ammo type. It's just so easy to predict people's movement with it and use it. I would have never traded AP for APCR for AP. Uh, another good thing I can guess is uh, no uh, gold fired yet. And this is just beautiful. And yeah, balanced Soviet tank. And he fired both shots, so I'm gonna block him away from the K71. Uh, K91, because he, he doesn't deserve anything for camping in the back. But. You are definitely not a Soviet tank. You are a tall boy. And this is a mastery. Okay, this page is useless. Okay. I wish if you clicked on people's names, you'd get this page up instead of the other one. Um. So. Just like I said, 13, 16, yes, 13, 16, basic speed, so, oh, it says it right there, cool. Oh, all this bullshit. So, like I said, around 1250, 1260, 1270, 1270, is probably the lower end of the master bar right now. Probably will go up. Stank's not bad, I just don't enjoy it. If, he, if it was shorter than the 140, let's... It's not that much taller. Hmm. They're almost the same height. 140 is just a cut here shorter. But yeah. I just don't like that playstyle, I guess, anymore. I'm playing more of like. Then I can't figure find the words, but you know, like STB, which I don't really play that much, but M48 Patton. Alright, this is not a bad machine. 
I just don't find it enjoyable to play. I find it kind of boring. Like I'd rather play the Leo, but if you play this thing, it's not as bad as a T22. But Strawn just looks ugly and it's basically a 140 T2, uh, T62 at, just for the Germans. That's it. Probably a little bit stronger. But I don't know. It's just not for me. I would not spend money for crates. Just wait till they sell this thing for 10,000. Golden, you'll be fine. Alrighty, peace.